And Ashton's like, man, I don't like you hitting me in the butt. That's a real inconvenience to me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ethan. It's been a long time since we got to review a good fight video. They're typically NASCAR fights, so that's why this one's special because it's actually dirt track racing, which is what we love. For those of you that don't know, at Southern Raceway this past weekend, GR Smith and Ashton Winger got into a little fist of cuffs. Well, not really. GR didn't get in the fist of cuffs. GR semi started it, and then random guy got in the way. So, but it was between GR and Ashton. And for those of you that don't know, Ashton drove for GR last year. Don't know if that played into this or not. Maybe it was just hard racing and then hurt feelings. I don't really know. What I do know is that we're about to break this video down in a way that you have not seen before. Here you go. First, let's show the race and show what happened to lead to the fisticuffs in the garage, if you will. So first things for a little context, the uh, 12 car sitting on the pole there, that is Ashton Winger. GR Smith is in the two car, and we're here. We go. We're racing. So we're gonna go into the corner, and GR is gonna throw a little shoulder bump right there, a little shoulder bump into Ashton, saying, "Hey, man, I'm trying to win this on the first lap. Get out of my way." Or he's saying, "Hey, I don't like your face or, or, or things that you've done, and now I'm gonna show you. So eat it." It's probably more so that one, if I had to guess. So let's fast forward here. No need to see this, but here comes Ashton Winger with a tight slider. Tight slider. Uh, let's look at it again. Does Ashton, he definitely, it looks like he went over the nose for sure, uh, but there's no no real nose to GR's, no, no real damage, excuse me, to GR's uh, nose there. Just looks like a real tight slider, and he's coming in, it came in hot. You know what I mean? So there's part two of this debacle. Now, let's go into turns one. GR is going to say, hey man, didn't appreciate that, and I'm going to try to take you out, but, mm, he didn't. It's always embarrassing, like, this is a, this is a tough look for GR, uh, and honestly, if he'd, if he'd cleaned him out right there, maybe everything could have been avoided, but GR couldn't finish taking him out, and that's unfortunate. GR actually made, it didn't look good for GR, is what I'm trying to say. So, GR... Obviously embarrassed, dang, I didn't quite get him. He goes to the infield, it's a little dusty down there. And this is under caution. Here comes GR. And Kaboomy, right there. Ashton Winger's butt says, hey, I'm gonna hit you in the butt. And Ashton's like, man, I don't like you hit me in the butt. That's a real inconvenience to me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the front here. He's back to the front and GR's like, no, not cool. And he just demolished, you know, a very expensive nose, I may say. What you're about to see is the third strike, followed by a pretty professional move that makes up for the half-hearted spin-out uh, that he tried to put on Ashton Winger. So he's going, and boom, one more hit there, but cocks it sideways, perfect to get out of the track and onto the pit, no retaliation from Ashton. He's just headed out, and that's how that ends. That's what happened on the track. So he hit him, what, three times under caution? GR hit Ashton three times under caution, something to that effect. There you go. Now let's get into the actual fight itself. I'm gonna do my best to bleep out a lot of the curse words because we are a monetized channel and I don't wanna jeopardize that by uh, playing a bunch of cuss words. Uh, so I'll just tell you, all right, when this video starts, it's Ashton Winger in the driver's suit and he is trying to get to GR. He says, where are the is GR and random guy in the orange shirt I say random guy he has a name I've seen his name uh, but ultimately irrelevant to the whole thing because I don't think anybody really knows who he is so a random guy or orange shirt guy as I will often refer to him uh, just kind of gets in the way here kind of impedes uh, Winger's path so Ashton's gonna come in full force you see Ashton he's coming in and he's ready to fight. Orange guy, could have sidestepped probably, could have did a little sidestep there, but no, orange guy is prepared for the block, so he's gonna do the block. So let's watch this thing full speed. And that's a good place to stop, let's back up here. So we got the pushing and the shoving and the typical crap that happens at the racetrack, but Ashton will not be denied. And this orange guy lets his block down right about here and Ashton's got a clear path. All he's got to do is shake free of the arms 
But does it happen? No, it does not happen. Orange guy absolutely pulls out, watch that right there. Whoop! Pulls out a little sneaky from the foot department. How you doing? And sends Ashton a rumble, stumble, tumbling to the ground. Let's watch it again. Whoop! Kaboomy. Whoop! Kaboomy. One more time. Whoop! Kaboomy. Full speed. Whoop! Kaboomy. Pretty good hit on the ground, too, by the way. So, Orange Guy is now going to be on top. And we're going to have, you know, a little scrapping, trying to get a punch off, but everybody's grabbing. And then insert Mullet Man. See Mullet Man right there? Blue shirt, left corner. Where does he come from? Where does he come from? Did his mully senses activate and was like, hey, there's going to be some stuff in the pits. Better head that way. And then as he gets, look, bam, he's, he's here now. And he's like, man, mullet senses are activated. Full strength. I'm ready. My mullet is ready to go. Do they need me involved in this? Because if so, I'm ready to bring the heat. I've got a nice mullet and I'm ready to show it off. But no, he just stays cool. He just stays cool, man. When you got a mullet like that, ain't no sense of getting involved, right? Someone might grab a piece of it, take it as a souvenir. You don't want that to happen. So mullet man's just gonna stand by and watch. Look at that guy. What about the... Uh, what about this unit down here? He doesn't get to sneak around too often, but he absolutely sneaks right into the middle of this video, doesn't he? Like, whoop. And did somebody need me? Cause here I am. There I am. I'm just gonna get a look. Just gonna get a look, not gonna get involved. But then right here, you see Mullet Man. He's ready. Oh, that was just a little flinch. Trying to harness the power of the mullet. He's not trying to let it all out. He doesn't wanna let it all out. He wanna get involved in this. Cause once the mullet starts going, baby, there ain't no slowing. A lot of uh, nothing right there in that video, honestly, because everybody gets crowded in and involved and blah, blah, blah. It kinda sucks. But right here, you got Ashton Winger. Uh, he's going to the uh, police car in handcuffs. Not a good look for that. That sucks. You never want to leave a racetrack in handcuffs. Then everybody else has got to pack up her stuff. And it's like, does Ashton want his helmet in the cabinet? I don't know. Uh, he normally keeps it um, in the cab of the truck. Oh, does he? But because I'm gonna put it there. Then everything gets misplaced and it just sucks because you weren't there to tell everybody where you want some of your things. It's trivial, I know, but it's also a big deal. What you're about to hear is a lady who I think we've all heard before and I think we know exactly what she looks like. I'm gonna try to play this as loud as I can for you because she is in charge. You hear that? Disperse. Everybody disperse. Good for her for choosing not to say bad words there. Good for her because she could have easily said, everybody get the f out of here. And, but she chose a $5 word and, just, and emphasized it to a point where even this police officer, take a look at him. He's like, oh, she talking to me? Should I leave too? He's got every right to be there, right? He's arresting people and doing things. But he's like, when she yells that, he's, he's confused too. He's like, man, oh. That was pretty, should, I should probably leave too because she's about to get real angry and I don't want to be involved in that. Much of nothing after that, orange guy gets arrested, which I think is kind of a sham because anybody with the camera that could show the video, orange guy was just trying to, he's just trying to take care of business. Now that foot swoop could definitely be assault because that was one hell of a foot swoop. Uh, but ultimately, I don't know if he should have got arrested. Ashton and him have been released as far as I know. I think Ashton's dad also got arrested So I'm assuming he probably went to GR's trailer after the fact burglary was on his list of charges Which is kind of confusing. So maybe he went in there and was like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna take your tires and then he's like carrying a tire and then uh, He's like no, I don't want the tire and they throws it it's far enough to where it's technically considered stealing and then he goes in there and wants to fight I don't really know how that situation played out. It's kind of a confusing one to me as well. We don't really get a lot of context as to how Ashton Winger's father got involved. But as far as I know, Ashton and Orange Shirt Guy, or Random Guy, are uh, both out of jail. I'm not so sure about Ashton's uh, Ashton's dad. Also, what an inconvenience. Is now dad's not there and Ashton's not there. And now they're trying to load up this car. And like, I don't know if he has a car owner or if he's his own car owner. But if it's just them two running the show, now we've got... Like probably Ashton's wife, girlfriend, and Ashton's mom trying to load the car. And I can only imagine what would happen if that happened. If for my team, it would be a disaster. But anyways, that's a breakdown of the video. What did you think of the fight? If you like content like this, be sure to uh, hit the like, comment, or wait a minute. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, always uh, comment.
Yeah, and share it too with a friend. That'd be cool too. Well, that's all I got. That's the that's the first breakdown of the year. Maybe a little rusty, but we didn't get a lot to work with right there. Do better, fighter driver fighters. Do better. I love each and every single one of you, but now I gotta go. Bye.